Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a new fractal tone tutorial and this is how to get the outro tone on John Mayer's I Guess I Just Feel Like. And we've known about uh, this solo tone for quite a while but we've only known that it was a crank vibro, vibro champ and a Epiphone Casino. But recently at John Mayer Gear on Instagram, Alejandro, he kind of debunked this whole mystique behind the tone. and there was uh during the search for everything rehearsal show there is something sitting off to the side that john was kind of tweaking and it was covered and it ended up being this old unit and there's a bunch of different uh, things that go into this unit but mostly used it as a fuzz circuit and it's the companion psychedelic drive or sorry psychedelic machine and it does kind of this upper octave fuzz type of thing uh, it's really, really cool sounding, um, but we know that John would use that and uh, like a TS-10 to push it a little bit because overall it was set kind of low in terms of fuzz, so not super sustaining, but when you kick it on the TS-10, it kind of opens up a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to dial that in today. And as always, if you choose to go through this whole tutorial, then great, it helps the channel. But if not, hit me up. I'll have an email in the description box on how to purchase this preset, which also helps the channel. Today I'm going to be on my Michael SX Custom. On the neck pickup, uh, these are Lawler Blondes. So let's go ahead and dive into FM9 Edit right now. All right, so here it is. We have the signal chain now basically copied and pasted um, my signal chain from my main John Mayer preset. So here's the, the first amp, the two rock. Let's go to the ideal tab. Here it is. And then I believe all I did was I did add the new inputs, input dynamics, which is awesome. A little bit of out uh, compression from the gain enhancer. Here's my kind of steel string singer workaround type of thing. Let's go preamp. Don't forget to uh, set it to skyline, mid tone stack. Mainly just kind of go through and copy the stuff. Not sure if I have anything going on here. Moving on here, I definitely added some cathode follower, changed the power tube type. Nothing really here. Um, something really cool you could experiment with is this uh, speaker drive compression and thump uh, adds a little, um, a little bit of low end, really cool stuff. And did use the output EQ. This is from Austin Buddy. And then some input dynamics and gain enhancer. Here's amp blocks that I used. And been really digging the preamp. So 
uh, vintage set to high quality, a little bit of drive and saturation, a little bit of high cut. You could do some low cut as well if you wanted. I like to add some room right here, room level, and some room diffusion. I think that's it for the amps. But let's go ahead to uh, the reverb. My go-to South Church set pretty wet overall, but I like that for recording purposes. In a live setting, you might want to dial it back a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the drive section, these three. So I would say the main part right here is your kind of psychedelic uh, machine type of thing we got going. So you wanna get those upper uh, octave type of things going. So uh, use the octave distortion nothing in these tabs, but I did uh, dial the mix back. We're, we can mess with that in just a little bit. Then I used the bender fuzz set really low. Let's go ahead and hear what all that sounds like together. Sounds good, but I kind of want it to be a little bit more sustaining, so I add the TS-808 OD. Set low-ish, a little bit of low cut, and then I like to bump up the bias a little bit. So now here's what it sounds like. All right, right there you heard that double stop thing, that's kind of where it shines right here. So it gets nice and sputtery. Um, let's see what the mix does right here. All right, so mess with that a little bit. See if you like it at uh, the 87 or 100, your choice. But these are some pretty good starting points for you to kind of dial this in yourself. Um, it gets that upper harmonic thing. especially on those double stops. But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is as close as I feel like I've gotten to the tone, um, especially doing this uh, little s parallel stack of these drives and push it with the, the TS-808. Uh, um, I think it really kind of gets there. So hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how it works for you in the comments below. Take care.